Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move that we send this to a committee to report back not earlier than next year's business meeting. Thank you. Uh, does anybody wish to speak to the motion to refer? Okay. Um, I put this on the agenda so we'd start talking about it. I understand that as moved, it has flaws. I would like us to keep talking about it, and I think a committee of the business meeting is the correct venue in which to be having those conversations, since it will necessarily be comprised entirely of stakeholders and who gets to come to the business meeting. Thank you. Anybody wish to speak against the motion to refer? Seeing none, we, ah, we do have one. <laughs> Uh, PRK Perky. Uh, Mr. Chairman, while I am, let me get at this. While I am not hard against the motion to refer to committee, I do believe that with an assembled group of people from the business meeting here, a little discussion among it would throw up some of the objections, items, bits that we're in favor or against that would facilitate a much more product productive discussion in committee. All right, speech in favour of referral, Ben. Still Ben Yellow. Um, when are you changing your name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I've used it for enough business meetings by now. <sighs> 48. Um, <laughs> so, in general, committees that have to report back, that meet at the business meeting and try and report back, are pretty good at fixing technical things. However, for anything other than technical things, and I believe that the flaws in this are not things that can be fixed by technical tweaks to the wording. You really want a committee that has time to discuss. And therefore, I think that a committee to report back next year is better than a committee that's going to report back in a day or two. Thank you. Speech against referral to a committee? Anyone? Seeing none. Speech in favour, or any further speakers in favour of referral to committee? Uh, halfway back there, please. Yep. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Hensley, because this amendment ha is not a technical in the business meeting sense, but it does have specific technical aspects that are perhaps outside the expertise of the business meeting as a whole. Attempting to hash it out as in the meeting, the details of it would be unproductive. It is better to let a small committee hash those details out and give us a report that explains those. So, and that, again, that's not something you can do in an hour in a back room. Thank you. Any further speakers on the motion to refer? Kevin. Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, um, would I be right in at, this is more in the case of an inquiry regarding this, but would it be right that the, it's the intention of the chair should this motion pass that the committee consist be chaired by Kate Secor and such people as she uh, adds to it at her discretion? Pretty much, unless she declines, which I don't think she will. <laughs> I thought it better before we actually vote on it that we knew who yep. would be running it. Thank you. Yep. Um, any further people wishing to speak? Seeing none, vote on the motion to refer those in favour of referring to uh, a committee chaired by Kate and reporting back next year. Lots. Those against referral? One. <laughs> Thank you. Motion to refer passes. Kate, you're on. <laughs> Uh, Sign-ups for that will also be up here at top table at the end of this meeting. So, item D2 is an oops that we spotted. Uh, 
a while back, adding series to the series. <coughs> Somebody changed. At one point, we amended uh, written fiction categories to a list of categories and forgot to add series to it when we added the series, Hugo. This has five minutes. Does anybody wish to speak in favour? Anybody wish to speak against? Yes, come up, please. Quentin Matthews, this seems to be only a technical correction, so why does it take two years to get fixed into the Constitution? <laughs> because it's an actual f change to the uh, meaning of the Constitution. We, it's something we should have done, uh, but it's not something that would really reasonably fall within the uh, bounds of the Secretary's power to correct. Thank you. Anybody wish to speak on this motion? Those in favour of giving this motion first passage? Those against? Thank you. Motion passes and will be passed to Dublin. D3 was postponed indefinitely. D4 was postponed indefinitely. D5 was postponed definitely to tomorrow. And... No, not quite. We have two more. Let's have... We've been underway for half an hour, so let's have a ten-minute recess or so here to try to drink up the coffee so kindly provided by Google. <laughs> and we'll come back for the last two items in about ten minutes. Thank you very much.